What's up, guys? Long time no see. Cody is going nuts as out. usual. We haven't done a video in quite some time. Cody wants to say hi. So, uh, to everybody. Yeah, he wants to say hello. Bubs. Say hi. Naked bubs. Yeah, no harness today, huh? <laughs> Not right. So, as if you guys know, um, you know. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, goodness. We almost <laughs> lost you. What? Right. You're on like a slide and the floor. Yeah, all I'm right. alright. Be I'll careful. Alright. All right. So, uh, we've had some pretty traumatic things happen. You know, with this whole deleasing thing, it really sucked. Yeah. Um, and we've had a lot of you guys, I mean, a lot of you guys reach out, like tons of you guys. Like, I didn't know that people enjoyed our channel so much. Yeah, like we had an overwhelming response from you guys, um, you know, on what we should have did or that we're so sorry and if there's any way you, we can help. Um, so if you guys have the winning lottery ticket numbers, we will gladly <laughs> take them. There you go. That's Thank how you can help. Yeah. Um, no, but for real, a lot of you had had you know suggestions and stuff. I know we must have got. Um, why don't you guys get into Hot Shot like a hundred million times? And I'm shaking the table. shaking the uh, I guess we'll just we'll just clear it up right now. Hot Shot. Um, you know I have no issues with Hot Shot, as far as people doing it. Um, but Hot Shot just isn't for me. Um, I have I have no interest really in getting along with anybody. I have no interest in leasing a trailer or buying a trailer and then dragging that trailer all across the country. Uh, I just I just don't really like that. I, I like that if I do an RV, I can take it, drop it, and then I'm empty. And if I want to go stop somewhere along the way, I can. I don't have to worry about where am I going to put, you know, a 35 or 40 foot flatbed trailer. Um, it's just our preference. It's not what yeah, we yeah, want it's to nothing do. personal. You know, if that's something you guys want to do, go right ahead. You can make some great money with it, um, especially if you, you know, get on with your own um, MC and DOT numbers. A yeah. lot of you mention it, like in almost every video. So yeah. it's like we're just gonna address but it. Can, it. <laughs> but it can also be very expensive to get into. Um, you know, mainly if if you run by yourself, the the insurance alone is is probably, especially for somebody who's new, is it's somewhere between like ten and twelve thousand dollars a year. I think something like that think and apparently one of the only few companies that will take you on is progressive and it might be like one or two other ones I'm, I'm not really too sure guys I, I haven't personally like took an interest in it that much to like look into it um, but I do follow toe piglet a lot of you guys tell me to go talk yeah. to him and he's looking to hire and lease on <laughs> and uh, toe piglet's a great guy and I watch all of his videos um, you know and and they're very informative and some stuff I could actually relate to RV transport um, and like I said, I like watching his videos, but it's just it's just not for me. And, uh, you know, I, I have no interest in, in, in tying down freight and tarping it and all that stuff. Uh, you're not going to explain all Yeah. Right? Well, I know. It's just that I get it all the time. So I'm just trying to, like, explain to you guys, like, wh why I don't want to do it. You know, I like with, with RVs, you just hook up and go. And then when you get to your destination, you drop it and go. And it's just simple. You know what I mean? I don't have to sit there and wait for somebody to, to load my trailer or unload my trailer. So, all right. Yeah, so that's all about right. it. We're not, we're not interested in doing hot traffic. A lot of you were telling us to get lawyers involved and to try to fight for our job back. Contact Cracker Barrel. Right. We've contacted Cracker Barrel. As you guys already knew, as we already knew, Cracker Barrel had nothing to do with the call. They, they uh, from what they told me, they had no idea about it. And, and I really, I don't think they knew anything about it because I don't think Cracker Barrel called. No, we already figured. We already figured they, you know, didn't yeah. call. Um, Cracker Barrel said that whether you're an RV transporter or you are a private traveler with an RV you are more than welcome to stay in their lot overnight so um, don't not go to them because of us yeah I know a lot of you guys a lot of you guys messaged me I'm not gonna go there anymore screw Cracker Barrel this yeah. and that um, and and I really honestly don't think it was Cracker Barrel no. and uh, you know so so go ahead and support them they have really good food and uh, I love I love the whole interior and everything we really like Cracker Barrel yeah and we're personally not gonna pay a lawyer to help us get our job back it's it's not that serious, guys. If this if it was like the only job in the world, you know, maybe. But uh, like yeah, what we did, we didn't we didn't do what we were accused of doing. Not at all. But we're not gonna fight to try to get our job back. We have no interest in working for them and having to watch our backs. Yeah, yeah, I have no interest in you know. Are they gonna fire me today? What did I do wrong today? What are they gonna say I did wrong today? What's you know? someone gonna accuse me of doing today? We don't want to deal with that. Right. Um. So, and plus there's there's just tons of transport companies out there to go with. You know what I mean? Um, we actually both got leased onto one already. Um, we go for orientation 
in a couple weeks. We kind of pushed it out further. That way we could stay home for a while and, yeah. and relax. Um, I've and been doing privacy issues. We're not going to tell you who we're with or when we're starting or when we're going up to Indiana. We're, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to we're gonna leave everything. It, it, it sucks because I like telling you guys what rig I'm taking, where am I taking it to, how much it's paying. Um, but I just, I don't know. And, and I'm not saying I don't trust anybody personally or anything like that. I just don't know who it is. Yeah. So I don't know, who even knows if it is someone that was following us right. or if it's just someone that was just passing through. Right. But we also have to be careful with what we say because we do give a lot of information away yeah. in our videos, which we never really realized until after all this stuff happened to us. Yeah. So we're going to keep everything kind of on a DL. You know, obviously we're still going to vlog our runs and everything, yeah. but with very limited information and everything is going to be delayed by probably weeks. Yeah, um, so we're not going to be uploading like as often as we Well, we are. will be. Well, we will be, but it'll be delayed. Yeah. It'll be delayed a lot. So if, I, if I'm in, you know, Michigan, let's say, for, the, for this video, it was probably weeks and weeks and weeks ago. So just just so you guys know. Yeah, we apologize, but we really just have to, you know, be cautious of us because we really don't want to have to go through this again. No, I have no interest. Even though I'm, I'm kind of like, we've been home for three days now, and... Uh, I've had a roof reselling job every day this week, and I have two or three more um, coming up this week. And I've already, I've already made more money roof roof reselling uh, than I do with RV transport in a week. So, um, and it's it's really good money, and it's simple, and it and I've done it so many times now that I know exactly how to do it, steps and everything, um, and how to do it the most efficient way while still like doing a great job. And I knock I can knock a thirty foot roof out and two hours two and a half hours and it comes out great i'll pop some pictures up so you guys and can it, see and it, like the time goes by fast too yeah and we see some beautiful sights like we we did one today earlier this yeah, morning you us on instagram like they were right by a canal it was right on the canal it was beautiful big piece piece of property it was super quiet nice and breezy they had these big mossy oak trees um that we were you know the whole rv was under so it was nice um, so i like that gig if i could have a guaranteed like job for that every day of the week or maybe five days a week so i can have the weekends off i would i would just stay home um but luckily sam and i have multiple different sources of income yeah if you follow me on instagram i mentioned that yep. in this kind of job you need to have backup because like you guys saw it could be gone and within a day yep. or you know we worked them for two years and look how quick we lost it we're and lucky it, that yeah. you know other companies are out there but like we said we have other backups just in case because you never know when somebody could take away your job it's not just that either it's it's you know with this whole covid thing we we don't know what's going to happen you know the, the market is getting absolutely flooded right now at rvs and people are going crazy and i guarantee you after this whole covid thing actually finally calms down people are going to be like i just bought a fifty thousand dollar rv or a thirty thousand dollar rv uh and and it's just sitting here what am i doing with it so they're going to go sell it back to the dealer or trade it in or whatever and they might not be requesting so many new RVs from the factory. They might be so bombarded with, you know, these practically brand new units or whatever. So that the work for us might actually slow down quite a bit. Um, you know, in, in come, I don't know, three, four months from now, hopefully if everything uh, actually comes back and slows down and COVID kind of goes away, we'll see. Um, but like Sam's saying, you just never know. Um, you know, during Christmas time, normally it slows down. Yeah. The, the factories will switch over to the new, n newer year, like floor plans and everything. So it takes them a couple weeks to, like, reset the factory and, and, and start getting the new material in and everything. So, you know, you want to have more than one income, guys, uh, yeah. especially in this line. You know, some kind of trade. You're sitting in Indiana in your truck waiting, yeah. just staring at that load board, hope, yeah. open to grab. Or you're something. home going, you We've know, oh, crap, I hope I can pay the rent this We've month. We've been there, though sitting in indiana just staring at the load board it was freezing out so we got a hotel and we're sitting there just refreshing the load board over and over again like oh my god are we gonna grab something today Whatever and that was is, one of the biggest it. companies in the rv transport industry horizon is, is definitely one of the biggest um so just imagine if you run for a smaller you know company like she ran for classic for a little while you know they run out of loads real quick so it is so do all these other smaller companies with these small yards you know so you really so if you guys run for a smaller company you have to keep that in mind <sighs> um but yeah guys we we've been eating you know i didn't get any thinner uh <laughs> we're not starving like i said we're keeping super busy with that and um we just kind of wanted to give you guys an update yeah. let you guys know we really appreciate all the support and all the uh you know tips and, and suggestions and uh we're glad that you guys are sticking around 
our, our subscribers just keep coming up and up. And yeah, I can't believe like how quick like our subscription for everybody like just yeah, super grateful. We're glad to have you guys. We I hope, hope you, you stick guys around. Decide, yeah, please stick around. You and, know we're uh, not gonna be doing you know. If the videos are still gonna be funny and stuff, and we're still gonna be informative. Yep. I was thinking, you know, I have my own channel, so I'm thinking about getting my own camera and like shooting in a different way, like of me transporting. Right. She's gonna do the driveway division yeah. um, of a company. So if you guys are interested in doing that, which I know quite a, I have, we have quite a few inquiries, right? With driveway. So um, Sam will give you the tips. You know what you could use on the road. I'll show you how to do the pre-trip yep. for you know an RV or whatever I have to drive. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in that, she'll be doing that. I'll talk about pay and all that other stuff too. I like I, on my channel. I spoke about it quick, but classic. Yeah, but uh. But this will be more like in depth. Yeah, this. And it'll be funny. Cause, you know, I'm so funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. I am. Uh, you know, we're just hanging out. That's really what it is. We're just hanging out for a couple weeks till <laughs> we're ready to get back on the road. But we appreciate all the love, though. Yeah, guys, we really Hi, Cody. do. Cody, you appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. Oh, so <laughs> update on Cody's hoodie. Look how freaking cute this thing is. Look how with the little pull string. Oh my god, it doesn't fit him. It's too small. Um, apparently he needs a medium. But uh, so if any of you out there have a small dog, and uh, like a small dog, like I'm talking like a teacup Chihuahua yeah. or uh, something of that he size. He fits in a small. And and you guys want to and you guys want a blue that nomadic couple hoodie? I will gladly send this to you for free. Um, because literally right now it's just kind of sitting here yeah. and uh, nobody can wear it. So if any of you guys want it, feel free to send me a... I mean, there's a cat roaming around the RV park. Maybe yeah, yeah, I'm just going to jam it on him. But if anybody... <laughs> if, seriously, if any of you guys want this, send me a message or an email. And, and put uh, it on your... It can go on your cat, too. Yeah, and send me a picture. I don't think your cat would be happy. Your, your cat will be the new spokes uh, cat of that, that, that nomadic couple But channel. yeah, if you want it, just let <laughs> us know and we'll send it to you. Yeah. And, and please take a picture so we can put it on our Instagram. Yeah. Oh, show them our travel pillows that we got. Oh, so... As you guys know, we sleep we sleep in our truck. I sleep in the truck, guys. <laughs> I do not sleep in the unit. So we got we used like you know regular. We were full using size full size pillows. pillows. Yeah. Look what Walmart has. Yep, like three bucks. Travel size pillows. And they're super like comfy. So I thought this would be good too if you're in drive away. It's yep. a pretty good, you know. It's a decent size. Yeah. Um, we'll do a review on that. Let you guys know if it was worth the three bucks or not. Yeah, I gotta get pillowcases for them. Yeah. It's kind of just like a, like a last second video. I just wanted to say what's up to you guys. Because a lot of you are like commenting and stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, probably wondering like what we're doing, how we're doing. Yeah, we're still kicking guys. We're not- Still eating. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're still eating. Still chunky monkeys. We actually bought some more stuff for the road. Um, Sam got us this mess buying? kit over here. You show the mess oh! kit? Hold on one second. Oh, but the other thing is down below. Yeah, I'll just put a picture of that up above. All right. So I went into Walmart. This is good for you guys on the road. So listen, if you don't, if you're tired of fast food like we are, and let, I'm so completely blessed that Sean and I were able to sign on with the company. Yeah. That for his birthday we're actually going to Tennessee. I'm not gonna say where because you know we gotta be careful. <laughs> but we're going to Tennessee, and I thought that instead of like, for, we're gonna go out for dinners. I probably probably vlog for your birthday, right? We're going to Twin Peaks. All right. If you guys have ever been to Twin Peaks, it's a much nicer Hooters, like much nicer, and the, the food the is supposed to be more skimpier. Too. Yeah, and the food is supposed to be like way better. So, so I got this from Walmart. It's a mess kit. I never heard of this. I thought it was freaking cool. All the Boy Scouts use it. But stuff. I mean, like, look at all that. It's like squished together, and look at everything that you get. It's, it's a lightweight and compact stainless steel. It's easy to clean. All pieces nest together for easy storage. Yep. You get one six point seven inch fry pan, one six point five inch plate. One seven ounce cup, one lid, and one point five quart pot. Yeah, that's great. All in one kit. It's nice and compact. Um, great to put in the thing in the trunk. And all you guys need after that is uh, like maybe like a little like mini um, spatula set or spoon set or whatever. Yeah. And, yeah, that uh, I have to get. You just go Dollar Tree and just buy. I'll put a picture up above of what we're going to cook on with it. But we bought from Walmart. Was it twenty bucks? Yeah. Twenty bucks. It's a. Is it Ozark Trail brand? I have a Coleman picture of it. I think it's Coleman. Hold on. I have I a picture know. of it. It's a, it's a small one burner um, stove and it runs on, what does it run on again? Not propane. Butane? Butane. It runs on butane canisters. Um, so it's really cool. And it's, it's, a, a it's, yeah, it's made by Coleman. I have a picture of it. Well, I'm going to pop a picture up above. Um, so. It's a, an instant start. Yeah. It's like, it's like this. We had our Coleman it's like this one. Big. But it's big. It's, and it's a yeah. two burner. We yeah. don't need that big of a stove. And the price went up for them. I don't remember them being so expensive, but I got, <laughs> <laughs> but 
but it's it's small and compact that it'll fit re perfect right into the black thing in the trunk so when, when him and i go away i can make breakfast and lunch and then all we have to do is just go out for dinner but this is great yeah. so keep like it how this just compacts together especially if you're on the road and you don't like eating out you yeah. know, got that just grab that you don't yeah. need that whole big like you know the pots and pans they're freaking big yeah that just like this perfect. is super convenient I'm not trying to sell you guys or anything or whatever. I'm just saying they, they sell it at Walmart. We're not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. Come on, Walmart, sponsor us. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you can get that right at Walmart in the camping section. Um, the stove and, and this mess kit. So. so, yeah, so that's what we're doing, guys. We're just hanging out, like I said, and, uh, like, finally relaxing. I'm just oh, going through a whole bunch of stuff. Out. That was fun. Yeah, the, they got my friend around. It's hard to find ink now. Like, we went, you know, we do the Walmart order for the house. Yeah, they deliver it. And... They didn't have it, or they just didn't want to grab it. I think they just didn't want to look for it. Because if you ever go to the printer section at Walmart, uh, like the ink section, it's a it, everybody just grabs, and then if they don't want that, they just throw it on any hook. So, like, everything's hidden. You have to actually dig and look. And I think the person who was shopping the order just didn't want to look. <laughs> so <laughs> so she didn't get me that. But I found it at uh, CVS over here. Yeah. Um, like, $5 more than what Walmart was charging, but, I mean, I need it. So I need it for a couple different things, not just for RV yeah. transport. But it's, like... Twenty one dollars. Excuse me. Price is so bad it made us cough and then you choke a little. Yeah, I'm choking. <laughs> choking on the price. <laughs> we need it though. But uh yeah guys. I don't think we bought anything else for the road, right? I don't Show think them. so. Could always tell you guys later on. But I hope you guys are all doing well. And again, we really appreciate all the support and I hope you guys continue to follow and uh we'll definitely be seeing you guys on the road eventually. Um, yeah, don't worry. We're still gonna video. Yeah, we're still gonna vlog. You I guys will still I see know. us. I, I'm probably gonna mention the unit. I'm like, I mean, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be delayed. So we're still gonna mention the unit that we're transporting. Or I'll know. do it. Honestly. I'm gonna put a bag over my face, <laughs> so, so you guys can't see. Just so you can't see me. Cause I don't know. Cause I don't know. I'm speaking out loud here. Is that? I don't, I don't see the harm in telling you what unit we're transporting. You're not going to know who we're transporting for anymore. And I won't. And I'm not going to be telling you guys where it's going. And it's I'll tell you the state, but I won't tell you. And by you the time the video's wasn't. uploaded, that unit would have been way dropped off already. Yeah. So I like showing you guys. You know, I do my lives on Instagram. I like showing you what we're telling. Yeah, we love showing you guys everything. It just it just gives you guys an idea. Some, of like when you there's jump like in. such few people that just ruin it. I don't know. Like I said, we don't even know if it was the person that follows us on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know for sure. But we're just playing it safe. Yeah. Um, so that's what we got for you guys. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, we yeah, really would appreciate it if you know. do. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. All done. Okay. So I had, we still answer questions. If you work for Horizon or whoever, we're not going to shun you out. We'll answer any questions. But you I will might tell have. you to find a different transport company. So go F yourselves now. <laughs> so. I don't think we ever spoke about this, but on your BOL, which I showed you guys in a couple of videos ago, is when you print it out and it shows you where it's going and where, where you're picking up and where it's going to, that if they said there's a wash or something, someone asks, I'm not sure if anybody else has any questions about it, but it would say like $40 for wash or whatever, and if you have to stop and get it washed, call the dealership and ask them if they wash the units there. Yep. If they say no, then yes, you have to find a truck wash. And pray they don't scratch it yeah to wash the rv for you or if they say yeah we wash it then make sure you get a receipt and yeah they'll charge you for the wash at the yeah. dealership which is so much easier because we've done that there's a place in massachusetts that does a wash and you have to pay for it yeah so that's 40 bucks i think so make sure you get a receipt and submit that with your paperwork so yeah. you get and then you'll get reimbursed for that make sure they write wash on it that they're very detailed and it, and it has the company's name it has on to be receipt. it has to be a legit receipt it cannot be like a, a, a piece plain of piece of paper you know but, uh, yeah, so just updating it. So, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I think we're going to start making food soon. I'm kind of hungry. Why are you talking about it? It's only 3 o'clock. She's going to start making me food soon. Uh, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, guys? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys. All right, so after we ended the video, Sam really wanted to take a look at this mess kit. So I figured while we have it out, we'll show you guys. Oh, my God. There's your little pot with a little lid. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! So cute! <laughs> your little cup. It's the little things that excite me. Uh, here's your bowl. Does that measuring cup inside it? No. No. I think it's just a drinking cup. You gotta guesstimate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so here's your eating bowl, and then here's your little frying pan. That is so cute! And then, uh, you How put... How much did I pay? Four bucks? I don't know. It wasn't with you. Three bucks? Three, four bucks? So you put, it, you put that one on top. You put this one in there. Oh, uh, yeah. This goes in there. You close the... 
close the lid like that. And mm, I don't think you did no, it right. No, no, hold on a minute. <laughs> Please hold. I got this, I'm telling you. This goes in here first. Yeah. Then that. And, and then, then that, this goes yes. over it. And then you close it, and this little clamp thing locks it. That is so cute. Oh. Boy. Hmm. Doesn't shake nice. Don't shake it. <laughs> oh. It was, okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Nice and neat and compact. You can throw it under your seat or whatever. All right, guys. This really is the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo.